up out there everyone in YouTube land it is guess who it's rockin Dave from guess where North Fort Myers Southwest Florida my friends and welcome to Tech Talk and Tuesday I know it's Wednesday but yesterday we had the floor all tore up a lot of work was happening in the house so we had to wait till today but we're still gonna call it Tech Talk and Tuesday and what I want to show you in this video my friends is continuing with the pinky and the upstroke, even though I started with a little bit of shredding with my middle finger, you know. But what I'm doing right there is a pattern that is in the G major scale, and the only note we have that's a sharp is F sharp, so it's borrowed from G major slash E minor scale and the pattern is really really simple to do it's based off of um, on the uh, 12th fret position what it is it's if I take it from my B string going down the E and coming back it is 12th fret on the B string 13th fret 15th fret index middle pinky on the high E string we got 12th fret 14th fret 15th fret index ring finger or your third finger and pinky so my notes from low to high are B C D E F sharp G and then back and now I did add in a G F sharp and I think I did add in my E D and C. And I did add A, G, F sharp, E, D, and C. And then back to G, F sharp, E, D, C, and B. So kind of give you an idea what exactly the notes are. <laughs> Now, I'm a big fan of speed bursts mixed in with riffs and melody. Um, of course, if I wanted to just do up nothing but shred up and down the fretboard, of course I could do that. But at some point, it starts to lose its taste. It loses, it loses my interest is what happens. Um, because what happens is it's, a, it's too many notes, too long of a duration, and no, no impact, nothing strong to grab your, you know, like just grabbing this one note. Uh, for instance, like this. You know, just something like that is just as powerful to me, emotionally, impact, as a lot of the wow of shredding. So, and this way, a lot of people don't have to feel like they got to try to conquer the entire fretboard. And, and again, Now, I'm not saying not try to do that. If that's what you want to do, go right ahead and go for it, you know. But at some point, you do have to make music, and this is where the magic comes in. So, if you're like myself, you probably will fa favor the speed bursts with melodies and riffs. Okay. Now, one way to really get this picking technique really fast, you know, with our four finger exercise, which I'll show in another video, but let's say you don't have the time or the patience and you want to start making music right away. Just by taking one note and doing trills, which is down, up, down, up, down, up, or up, down, up, down, up, down, you start building on alternate picking. Now that's all on one string. So for the players who do not want to try to conquer 
uh, you know, um, shredding up and down the fretboard. But they just, they're, they're in a situation, they want to sound good, they want to add speed to their playing, or let's say their musicians are already playing out live, and they don't have the luxury to take, you know, a month or two off from playing, because part of that is where their main source of income. If it's not your main source of income, then you're supplementing your income by playing out live. The point being made is that if you are making money playing as a, out as a musician, when you stop, that's your downtime. Guess what? You just cut off that source of income. So, you know, everyone's got to do what's going to work with their schedule. And another good suggestion I will, I will say, never feel bad if it takes you a little bit longer than the guy or gal down the street that's shredding. You do what's going to work for you because these are your hands. You're in that position. A smart person will always do what works for them because trust me, over the course of time, you will actually grow with developing your speed and then it stays with you, providing you know you take care of yourself. I mean, there's always good common sense there. You don't take care of yourself, you know, then no health, no wealth. Is that saying how it goes? So, anyways. So, you can start this now doing this... Now we're switching strings, so it's very easy. I'll turn my volume down. It's very easy to do speed bursts on one string because you're not switching strings. Let's say you want to switch strings. A good way to do this, there's many ways of doing this, but one of the best ways to do this is we're so used to playing down a lot of times I see people doing, for instance, um, pentatonic scales. Like that all down. It's Now it's kind of hard for me to do all down strokes. It's kind of weird. Sometimes it's a real hard habit breaking down, 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 down. But with our rhythms, a lot of times we come on a down stroke. You know? To get that chug sound, all downstrokes. So I'm not saying a downstroke has no purpose, it really does. But what will help a person cross strings is a really simple four note pattern. Three notes on one string, one note on, an, on the adjacent string. So down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, I want to also emphasize, if you want to build your strength, I'll, I'll do this with my volume roll down. Hit the notes solid. Now, it'll take a while to get used to this, especially if you've never done this before. So this is something you can incorporate in your playing as you develop your technique. I do a lot of improvising, so sorry about that. I went off from my focus, but I think you'll get the idea. What you could do to develop your speed is you could do the one um, uh, speed burst on one string and get that sensation that you're accomplishing speed. You know? And then while you're playing your melodies, you can kind of... Try to add that in as well because eventually you will get this right hand in sync with your left hand. But for the sheer uh, sake of getting used to crossing strings, one of the easiest ways of doing that is down, up, down, coming on that string on an upstroke. Or, here's a good way, start at an upstroke. Make sure you can see my fingers. Or you could do six notes. 
starting with the pinky. Which is actually good. Because again, pinky becomes lead finger. Okay, my friends, so I just wanted to shoot this video, not make it too long. On uh, next week, and it will be on Tuesday, unless, you know, I got to replace the roof or the side of the house or whatever, then, you know, we got the construction guys back out. But now, next week's video, what I will do on the Tech Talk on Tuesday, is I will incorporate a, a, a rock metal rhythm and show you what it will sound like doing speed bursts on one string and then playing as accurate as you can but very heavy melodically or very riff oriented where it fits metal so you don't feel like you're kind of wimping out or anything you're still you're, you're like Dimebag Daryl he never really played super super fast but he played with a lot of gusto a lot of you know a lot of guts man it hits you right in the gut very powerful and that's because he was a very good heavy riff and his melodies were heavy and he played a lot of he didn't play soft music put it that way right so I'll but I will I will do it with a, a backing track that I'll create right there for you so it's not borrowed track it'll be something I'm creating right there so you could kind of see how you could apply this where you won't feel like you're the oddball or you're not good enough to join so-and-so's band or you're not good enough to go out there and play trust me if you can make melodies and music and even if it's just with one string you're good enough to play out there here's another uh, tip if if your friends or strangers say, hey, you actually sound good, and you record yourself, and you listen to the playback, and you're going to know where you're at, but you know that you're just a good, you're good enough that you can get out there and start playing and helping you make money, go for it, man. You know, because really, everything's opinionated, right? So never hold yourself back. You don't want to do that. So... Anyways, my friends, I hope this is very helpful for you all, and I hope it's uh, it's good advice for everybody. You know, this is just one point of view of building technique. But I'll tell you what, I've been playing for 44 years, and I've gone through a lot of ups and downs, and I play several different styles, as you will see when I start showing you techniques on flamenco and classical guitar. Totally different subject there, my friends. Anyways... Always desire to inspire, my friend. Keeping everything real. opening, hold, Holding open the doors of opportunities. And not being what I call a growth choker. You know, it's when you stop someone from growing. You hold that door of opportunity open for somebody. Good things will come your way. Always desire to inspire. Keep it real. Until next video, God bless my friends.